you guys it's still the ass crack of dawn around here i went to bed last night at 10 and woke up just spontaneously at like 3 30. have you guys had uh, disturbed sleep through all of this the worry about it and wondering where your next meal is coming from and whether or not you'll have work and all that it yeah it's for a lot of people it's super super scary Hi, I'm Paul Shelbutter. I am your wicked Uncle Squinty with my cup of coffee trying to speak softly because the missus still can sleep for another 20 minutes before she has to get up. She has to go into work. She's essential. Um, so get on the bus, which is only running for essential workers and a way to work. And wash your hands a lot and pray. Well, anyway, I think it's time for a pinch with your Squinty because I have to tell you a couple of really great stories of how great people can be under um, under pressure and under this COVID-19 crisis even though we're at risk even with relatively close proximity to each other and a bunch of other stuff um, people are still behaving like people like loving good people so I want to tell you the first one I went to Walmart and I was stupid because I thought well you know maybe they'll still be able to help me shop see I touched my face but I use this first uh, I thought that maybe they could help me shop because the normal thing I would do because I can't see is I go into Walmart I know where the service counter is I go up to the service counter and ask for shopping assistance somebody comes it might be a greeter it might be a manager it might be an employee just coming off her break whatever and they will lead me around the store and help me find the products I need well I went to the counter and they said uh, Sorry, Paul, we can't do that because of COVID-19, social distancing. But, you know, go home and place an ad on Walmart.com and then come back and you can pick it up. Well, it's cost me a little bit of money and a lot of time to take the bus. And now with the buses running only under essential circumstances, uh, it's tough to get to get there and back again. So I was on the bus on the way home, and I complained a little bit to the bus driver. I said, I understand, and I only needed like three things. I needed deodorant, I needed shaving cream, and I wanted to get a box of Kleenex. That's all I needed. Uh, the deodorant was pretty urgent, you know, so was the shaving cream. And they couldn't help me with even those three items. And I complained a little bit, and we talked about it on the way home. Well, the next day... He shows up at my door completely unprompted. See, the bus drops me right at my house. My bus stop is the bus stop is right there, so he knows where I live. And he just knocked at the door, and here's a dozen rolled pack of toilet paper and a big can of Clorox wipes. Um, he didn't have to do that. That was just a really, really nice, nice thing to do. Uh, the next cool story I've got is this. I um, tried to use the local supermarkets website to order but even though I could make a login and so on and sign up I uh, something itches there I could not uh, I couldn't fill my shopping cart I could not put anything in the cart because <laughs> there's so much traffic on it so I sent them an email with a small grocery list not huge about 150 bucks worth of stuff and trying to stock up a little bit on some essentials and I called them and everything's cool okay you can order with the email that's fine and I said can I get it delivered and they said uh no you have to come and pick it up and I said well okay how many bags is this going to fill and she says like six okay now I can't take the bus and the taxis are running but very difficult and expensive no they haven't gouged price it's the same price but they're tough to get because they don't have enough drivers so I'm talking to the lady who filled my order and she says you know what I think I know where you live it's right on my way home let me bring your groceries to you and she just did she didn't want to be compensated she didn't want a tip she wanted to be thanked and she was really happy that she had done her good deed for the day my wife and I are facing certain challenges like we would love to be able to run around to the local restaurants and do the curbside thing I would love to be able to use the cash machine I need to get cash but all the only cash machines really are drive-up um, so 
we're in a bit of a jam once in a while but it's really nice to know that we can count on our neighbors and I'm grateful to them and I'm grateful to a God that created a loving human race people freak out when there's shit going on like this they think the worst like all the time but people who are, have survived really really bad disasters have all said that the whole secret is to believe everything is going to come out all right because it does believe in yourself believe in your neighbors believe in God believe in your own strength believe in your ability to deny yourself some things and not whine about it too much I think it sucks we're not going to have pro sports I love baseball baseball is part of my summer ritual listening to it on the radio um, you know I'm not smart about baseball I just like listening to the games and I um, I'm gonna miss it you know but you can't whine about it let's do a pinch oops I'm missing the purpose of this whole exercise which is to take a huge pinch so let's do this this is uh, an SP because I need to wake up God bless us all let's stay clean let's stay safer let's stay healthy cheers I think we should all really try to and I hate to proselytize it's not my business not a preacher that's not what I do for a living but it's really great and I think it is what our Creator wants us to do I don't know how you conceive God if you even conceive God but there's a divine spark in us that sets us above other animals because we will care for each other and not in a pack mentality because we're willing to sacrifice and we're willing to risk and if we manage the risk I think that's wonderful so let's not lose sight of the fact that we're human beings that we're interdependent that we love each other we're fundamentally a good bunch of people yeah there are shit hooks in the world are you kidding me there are some evil sons of bitches and you almost hope there's an, a, a God that will avenge all that shit because there are badass people in the world they're horrible but I think most of us are still pretty good I'm counting on it. I think you can too. Cheers. Let's do this. Well, I can tell the caffeine is kicking in. I'm babbling like an idiot. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day today. It's going to be a good day today. Stay safe.